In this video, I will show you how to use these scores to compare two numbers that normally would be difficult to compare. Now, the formula for z-score is um, to find the z-score, you take the original score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Now, let's see how that works in this particular problem. Madison scored a 700 on the verbal part of the SAT. SAT scores have a mean of 500 and standard deviation of 100. Her boyfriend, Colin, took the ACT and scored a 30. Um, ACT scores have a mean of 18 and a standard deviation of 6. All right, who did better? So, um, SAT scores and ACT scores, um, at a glance, are not easy to compare to one another. Um, so, this is how you come up with those percentile rankings and things like that that are easier to compare. Um, let's see, for, first let's do Madison. So I will change Madison's, uh, I will find the z-score for Madison's SAT score. I'll call that z sub m for Madison z-score. Madison got a 700, okay, uh, like we said the mean is 500 divided by that standard deviation of 100. All right, I'm going to put that into a calculator real quick. Actually, this particular one is so simple, we don't need a calculator. Um, 700 minus 500 is 200. All right, 200 divided by 100 is 2. So um, I should be fired if I needed a calculator for that. Now, let's do, um, what's this boy's name? Colin. Let's do Colin's z-score and see how they compare. So Colin got a 30. Okay, uh, the mean is 18. Standard deviation of 6. Now, um, 30 minus 18 is 12. 12 divided by 6, again, is 2. So both of these scores translate into a z-score of 2, which means they both did equally well.